And it's that time of year when smelt descend upon Lake Superior. But in Canal Park, they seem to have jumped the shore today. If that sounds a bit fishy, don't worry. Our car cop took the bait and explains. The glint of silver shined off handmade costumes, puppets, and tinfoil on the lake walk. Well, there are things you can only do in northern Minnesota, and this is one of them. And although non-Northlanders may find it fishy, for us, it's tradition. It gets important for people um, to just make traditions and keep on doing those traditions just to feel grounded in a sense of community. And what tradition would have hundreds of people walking along Canal Park following the stilt-walking royal guard of the Smelt Queen? The Magic Smelt Parade, of course. And after 11 years, people from the area dive into the parade for many different reasons. Oh, seeing I, the queen, seeing the Smelt Queen. <laughs> I'm just excited to parade with all these un other wonderful people and have people from out of town looking and asking, what on earth are you doing? And for out-of-towners, that's exactly what they were thinking. However, for them, the charm of the Magic Smelt Parade didn't come from the Smelt Queen or her royal guards, but the smile on everyone's faces. Smelt Parade was just so unique. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> With all the tin foil and the silver and the fish and kids, older people, it's wonderful. Yeah. And the parade signifies one thing to everyone, even those who are just visiting for the weekend. Spring has sprung. It's been a long winter. And it's just great to see everybody outdoors on bikes and scooters and walking and enjoying, you know, the day and doing goofy things. And what better way to enjoy the shining sun than doing it in a smelty way? And you have to look for joy wherever you can find it. In Duluth, Car Cop, Northern News Now. The festivities didn't stop at Canal Park. The parade made its way to Zeitgeist to snack on, of course, fried smelt.